What's up guys, Crazy HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video about comments. Um, so I'm just going to be reading some nice comments, not necessarily comments, but just some nice feedback that I received from, mostly it's going to be from the, the my bullying video, um, the my story with being bullied taught me video. Um, if you guys didn't see that, I'll link it in the description. It was, it was one of my best videos, one of my most successful videos. Um, I was really, you know, feeling something that night and I felt like I had to make a video about it, so I made a video about it and if you guys need advice or just want to hear my story, just go check it out. Um, I would really appreciate it. So anyway, let's get to the comments or we'll feedback. My friend Nate texted me. Not Nate, not the Nate that you guys see in videos, different Nate. I loved it. The message was so great. I said, thanks, bro. He said it was awesome. He said, thank you so much. Or I said, thank you so much. Uh, one of the kids from my school, DJ, he, he texted me, dope vid. Uh, and then this one was the one that really, really, I really appreciated. This was a girl that wasn't always the nicest to me. She wasn't really, uh, I wouldn't say she bullied me, but she came pretty close a couple times. Uh, most of her words didn't affect me. Um, I wasn't the nicest to her either, so I'm not going to say she was just a terrible person in general. But I screenshotted this because it meant a lot to me. Um, her name was Nicole. Hey Mike, I know it has been a pretty long time, and I'm not sure if you remember me, haha, <laughs> but I know... But I happened to see that video you posted on YouTube about being bullied and it caught my attention. I related so much to almost everything. After you left, school's name, Almost the same thing happened to me. It was kind of touching to hear how I wasn't alone in that. In that, although I wasn't always the nicest to you, I hope that you that was that that was put behind us. But anyway, I'm glad to hear you came out on the other side and you're doing well. So, like like I said, it wasn't even what she really said in uh in her like feedback. It was an Instagram DM. It was just the fact that she was reaching out to me and telling me, like, hey, my story, I have a similar story, um, and I know I wasn't always nice to you, and I'm sorry. And that, that just meant a lot to me. Um, it was really cool that she had matured since then. And, yeah. Um, and then one of my friends actually shared the video on Facebook and said, This is an inspiring video made by one of the most amazing people I've had the opportunity to meet. I'm so lucky that I get to call Mike Oster my, a friend of mine. He has a heart of gold and honestly just wants to make a positive impact. Keep doing what you're doing and I know you'll go far in life. And that was just nice. Like, you know, people saying they're proud to call you their friend, proud to call you, well, I had a girlfriend. Well, I still have a, I have a girlfriend now, but a different girlfriend. Um... But, um, like, she, like, she said she was proud of me, and, you know, it's just nice to hear that from people, um, especially someone you look up to, like Skylar, my friend who posted that, and it was really nice. So, um, she also shared it on Twitter and said everyone should watch this video and tag me in it. Um, and then some, one of her friends, uh, who I had never met before, Brian, um, reached out to me and said, really liked how you did the bully video. Had somewhat of the same experience through middle school and overcame it by fighting back and not letting it get to me anymore. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to make a video like that for victims and everyone else to watch. Uh, and that's the last one, but that was also really cool because it was somebody I didn't know. I don't think the video itself got too many comments, but I got a lot of comments in person to um, one of my deputy chiefs at the ambulance I work at, or the volunteer at, um, he came up to me and he was like, hey, I saw your video, and I was like, oh, is that a good thing? He's like, yeah. He's like, I didn't realize what you went through. It's really good to see how you came out, and really good to see how you're trying to make a positive impact on the world, and you, um, and then the next part was actually pretty cool. He's like, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm a leader of a Boy Scout troop, and in a couple months, we'll be doing something on bullying, and I want you to come and tell your story and tell them how you got over it and some advice. And I was like, yeah, that would be sweet. Now, I never heard back from that, but the, the offer about that was really cool. And I would still, if he offers to do that, like if he wants me to do it, I would still do it because it's really cool, you know, just helping people out. And um, 
I mean, I love to do it. That's why <laughs> that's why I volunteered in the EMS agency. So, um, but I had numerous people come up to me and say like, hey, great video. Um, come up to me in school, come up to me at work, come up to me just when I'm out with my friends. And I mean, I would be other friends. It's not like I'm big on YouTube and be like, I'd be in the mall and some random person that I don't know came up to me. Hey, crazy, nice video. But that was, it's really cool to hear like really positive feedback. Um, that video blew up overnight. It got like 250 views, which is a lot for me. It's blowing up for me. Um, and it got, it, right now it has like 380 views and it is just amazing, you know, like to see the impact that that video had um, and just, uh, and I'm hoping that if you're going through it, you can go watch it because you're not alone, you really aren't and some people just need to hear that and need to hear somebody else's story. Um, and. I wasn't bullied the worst, but definitely didn't have it easy, and I know there's people out there who get it a lot worse from me, a lot, a lot worse than me, um, and just, you're not alone, and just ask for help, and don't be afraid to speak up. Um, sometimes speaking up doesn't work, and that's when you fight back, and if that doesn't work, that's when you change schools. You're gonna, there's gonna be bullies everywhere in your life, you just gotta learn to fight for yourself and try not to let them get to you because I know words hurt but just prove them wrong so thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe follow me on Twitter be down description below as always guys have a crazy HD thanks for watching have a great day see ya